Oh my goodness. Just take a look at this amazingly stunning creature. Today I'm back to show you the absolutely magical creature that is the Rotsiolia ericina. Just look closely and analyze the patterns and you'll realize this animal is nothing short of art. Rotsiolia ericina is a species of silk moth found in various countries. Do you happen to live in Venezuela, Trinidad, Guyana, Suriname, Brazil, Colombia, Ecuador, Peru, Mexico, Guatemala, Honduras, Belize, Nicaragua or Panama, then you too have the chance of finding this exquisite beauty. Reportedly, its larvae have been raised on Ailantus altimisa, Antonia ovata, Senostigma macrophyllum, Cuteria hexandra, Exostema mexicanum, Ligustrum, Prunus, Quercus, but probably a lot more plants. I'm willing to bet that they would also eat plants such as Salix. It's very hard to generalize the biology of this species since it has a large distribution and is divided into several subspecies in South America. Depending on the locality, it appears they have about two to three annual flights per year. Rotstilia moths are some of my favorites when it comes to species from South America. Right now you're looking at a male and I'm desperately hoping the females will hatch pretty soon. Now, compared to the male, the female of this species is much bigger. But I don't have a female to show you right now. And if I can, I will try to show you the whole life cycle of this beautiful, beautiful animal. But for that we need a little bit of luck. You see, these moths are very short-lived. They live only for about one week. And because of that, they need to hatch a male and a female at the same time. And they have a tendency of hatching a little bit sporadically. So there is a risk of males hatching and dying before they have a chance to ever meet a female. Hopefully though, I will be lucky and I will be able to show you the caterpillars, which also look quite extraordinary if you ask me. So consider this video to be somewhat of a small teaser trailer. Last but not least, I have some great news for us all. Recently, my channel experienced a lot of growth. In a short time, it went from like 8,000 to 50,000 subscribers. And because of that, there is so much more budget that the species you will be able to see on my channel will become better and better. So thanks for watching. This is a very good time to subscribe to my channel. Hope to see you next upload. This was just a short informative video but in the future I am preparing some very big videos and I hope that all of you will stay around and wait until I'm ready to upload them this summer. Bye bye. No, we're not ending the video yet. Oh no, 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 no. My hair is looking good as ever, I know. You see, um, we have a fan message. What is a fan message? Well, if you are a subscriber of my Patreon, which is my crowdfunding account, then you can send me a message that I am forced to read out loud in one of my videos. So if you are watching this video and you happen to be one of my sponsors on Patreon, send me an inbox message there and I will read it for you out loud in a video. Isn't that fun? I only ask one tiny thing of you and that is Keep it family friendly, okay? I'm not going to read any weird stuff. But jokes and humor is fine. Anyway, today we have a fan message from someone who calls herself Kathy Branter. And she wants me to say, Arctid, you are my one true love. Please, will you marry me? Now some of you are probably wondering what that was about. 
I think I know this person and I think it was an inside joke from one of our WhatsApp chats that my uh, channel is connected to. There's a few re regular people who come there and somebody there is uh, posting under the name, under the alias Arctid. And uh, it was basically an inside joke. <laughs> Sorry if that sounded weird. I hope you enjoyed the video of the Rostelia moth. It's an exquisite species. Let's hope I succeed in breeding it. So far I only have males, but I really want to pair it and raise some caterpillars if I can. See ya.